Uh, I thank you all for joining us for this uh, historic uh, groundbreaking. If you look at Springfield, you see the long and deep connection of uh, Springfield with railroads. The center of that connection is right here on 10th Street. The first locomotive engine steamed down 10th Street in 1842. Well, hundreds of people came out to see that first train roll into the city. 1861, Abraham Lincoln boarded a Great Western Railroad train heading out to become President of the United States. The Great Western Railroad ultimately became the Wabash Railroad, which became the Norfolk Southern Railroad, the same railroad that owns this track right here on 10th Street. I am happy to say that we are here today no longer studying, but building. We're building the first portion of the 10th Street Rail Consolidation Project. This underpass will reduce delays and improve safety for vehicle traffic, for pedestrians, and for railroad operations. I have a favorite saying that the safest rail grade crossing is one that doesn't exist. And this project will allow three railroad uh, crossings to close and opens up an exciting opportunity to reconnect and revitalize neighborhoods while improving access to emergency medical services. The city's broader vision will consolidate both freight and passenger rail services here on 10th Street, eliminate 36 grade crossings, think about that, 36 grade crossings, separate rail traffic from vehicles and pedestrians, and eliminate, eliminate train horn noise. Because without the support of Ray LaHood, then Congressman John Shanks, Aaron Schott, all the local officials, Chairman Van Meter, Mayor Houston, and all of them, along with the local folks like Satch and, and many others that have, have done this in other capacities, not just their elected official capacities, working hand-in-hand -hand with, with IDOT. And I want to thank the late Mayor Tim Dan for his leadership. Everybody's here to take credit. This stuff doesn't happen without strong leadership, uh, tenacious leadership, uh, and folks who are willing to stick their necks out and sometimes, uh, and sometimes take the heat. And uh, Andy, uh, you were one of those people, and I just want to say thank you not only for your friendship, but your willingness to take the heat when it's necessary, uh, because today's uh, a celebratory day because of what you've done. And Mayor Houston, I know from the time you got in office, you've been uh, advancing the ball down the court as well. But it's also about reducing traffic accidents. Uh, their estimates are an 80% reduction in the motor vehicle and, and train accidents. There are people that are not here this morning that I also want to thank. Governor Quinn and former Secretary of Transportation Ann Snyder worked closely with us to make this happen. And without those two people, this project would not be taking place. Senator Kirk, while he is not here this morning, has been extremely supportive and helpful. And it's often moments like this that I think about the people who will use this underpass, both to drive under and to ride over on a train as something that will remain long after all of us are gone. I hope people will realize that with the right goal and the right team, any task can be accomplished. I just want to emphasize this point. Senator Durbin is absolutely critical to the success of this project. And through all the difficulty, he never abandoned his hometown. He told us in meeting after meeting, we had to prove our case. No special treatment for his hometown. But if we could prove our case, he would support us. And we proved our case thanks to the, the funding he got for the study that we did. And, uh, and he's, he stood by our community. And I think it may look like a dog dancing as we put this project together, segment by segment, but we're going to get it done. Thank you very much. This has been a uh, very much of a treat for us to be able to work on this project. We are the design engineers for this carpenter underpass, as well as the design engineers and program managers for the overall program of the uh, Springfield project. Our employee owners are very excited because this is one of the opportunities that we have that we can actually work here in our hometown. We can bring our national and international experience that we have in railroad engineering and apply it to this project. And for us, that's really a treat, especially when we look at what this year is for us. 
and it's very significant because this year is our 60th anniversary of uh, starting our company by Walter Hansen here in the city of Springfield, Illinois. And for us, we say thank you to everyone that's been involved in allowing us to participate in this project. 